right, we are out here at 6449 in Mesa. We have a five bed, three and a half bath home. I'm gonna take you guys through it today. First thing I notice when I pull up to the house, there are lots of neighbors with pride of ownership, especially for an HOA. You walk up, there's this nice large courtyard area. You could definitely do something here, set that up as a nice little area to read and have coffee in the morning. We're at golden hour right now, so sun's going down. So I'm gonna go through the outside first. You walk up into this entryway, nice little landing room right here. Could definitely set this up a little different, maybe like more of a pool, table, bar, game area. So right when guests walk in, they're just super excited about their stay and can kind of go from there. The house is staged, so this is not furniture, but it does say on the thing that you can buy the furniture if you guys are interested, but I'll let you take that up with Katie. So first things first, it is a five bedroom, but they are not counting this. This is all set up like an office. You could definitely make this into some livable space, especially for Airbnb. Carpet is not in horrible shape. I actually do think they had this as an Airbnb at first. So I'm gonna get some more information from the agent too. She's gonna call me after the showing, but we're gonna walk through the house. There's definitely some things that we could change and upgrade to make this nicer. This is all set up as a formal dining area right now. Out overlooks out into your pool. We'll get back there really quick. This flows into the kitchen. I don't hate the wood grain, but I'm not quite sure yet. It is a very unique house and I think this would rent exceptionally well. I do like the framing around here though, and so that is different, but you could actually paint that if you wanted to. So this is technically your living room in here. This is set up right now with just a TV, couch, and all of that. I think we can configure this a little bit different. This is the bar top for the kitchen area, and so I'll give you another view of that there. We're gonna go out to the pool area next. Lots of space out here and lots of room for potential. First thing I would do is I'd get rid of all of this rock and I would turf everywhere around it too. Cool feature about this pool is it does have this little bar top table area. You can stick an umbrella right in the middle and enjoy some shade. Does not have a huge Baja shelf, but there is a little area right there, which is cool for when you're getting in and out of the pool. Pool is much bigger than the home that I showed and we're actually under contract for for these clients but I think that that's a big bonus because the pool, we'll get over there in a second, is also heated. Okay, lots of uh, cool decking, an area to lay lawn chairs, but I definitely would go with a more neutral color than this peach. They have a wood fire pit out here. This would be nice to have some chairs set up. I'd keep it just a normal fire pit instead of a gas fire pit, especially for those cold Arizona nights during the winter. So all the neighbors, have pretty nice backyards. They got some turf and just a little setup. This is cool to have your own outdoor kitchen. Barbecue is in pretty good shape. They even left Jeremy a Porsche for when he comes down. So we'll get that thing all detailed up for him too. It's a little joke. Back home, I actually own a detailing company. And so Jeremy and Melissa were some of my clients for that. So nice storage shed. This could be used as an owner's closet. It does have, this is crazy to me, it has three AC units. They're all in great shape. They all have a service stamp on them, meaning that they've been serviced within the last year. They say 2022 on there. I am noticing somehow, and for some reason, a little dry rot on the outside of the shed, but nothing that a handyman could not fix. That leads into a pool bathroom. I'll show you guys from the inside out. We'll walk back around. You do have this nice, beautiful queen palm here. This little stumpy, he's got to go. That's got to get turfed too as well. And so we're going to walk over to this area. I think it would be nice to add even another little sitting area with some pavers over there. Do this as like a turf area where you can do bocce ball, cornhole, and all your other games too. Maybe even some yard dice. This thing has got to go. It's just a plastic container. I would yard light and trim up and clean up these palm trees right here. And this yard would be amazing, especially with the bistro lights overhanging the pool from the roof of the house all the way down, hanging off some 10 foot posts. Definitely would be a Katie move right there. 
pool equipment is in good shape. They have a Fibro pool. This thing is a heater right here. That's electric. They also have this nice automated system. This is the same system we have on our pool. We're just gonna set it in quick clean mode to make sure everything works. Does have an awesome little fountain. Love that feature. Drowns out any of the white noise in here. One thing I might recommend, and Jeremy's gonna love this, we gotta get rid of this bond beam. We'll bring that back around, add a little three foot perimeter there. Not a big deal, definitely something we can do. Does have a setup for a basketball hoop over there if wanted. What these are, <clears throat> these are downstairs escapes for the basement required. Does have this covered patio area right here, which is kind of nice. So that is a look of the outside. Now we're gonna get to the inside of this home. Lots of square footage, does have a basement too. This thing probably has gotta go. I'm just not feeling it. I don't like this glass. I wanna see outside into my pool. So you come back into the living room and the kitchen area. There's lots of space to entertain in this home. One thing I'm not loving, you have this bathroom here, which is technically your pool bathroom. And so this is the area that leads to outside like I had discussed. That's just because we don't want to track a bunch of water through the house. Same countertop, same cabinets throughout. Like I said, does have a basement. We'll get there next. This is interesting to me. So you have the shower here and then you have the bathroom here. Not quite sure what their thought was with that, but we will see what we can do. So I don't know what exactly they had going on, but that's what we got going there. So this is the garage, two car garage, insulated panels so it doesn't get hot. It does have right here the uh, 2020 water heater and it is already plumbed for a soft water loop, which is nice. So lots of electrical in here. There's many, many outlets. And there is also the uh, 220 right there. Washer and dryer does go out in the garage. It doesn't come with the home, so there isn't one here, but nice little space. You could definitely spruce this up and turn it into a game room. This is also owner's closet from what I believe. More outlets in there and then the furnace as well in there. So we're gonna move on to the next portion of the house. So I thought it was kind of weird that you go from the garage to this bathroom, but I kind of like it. Just another extra shower for this many guests. So we're gonna go downstairs. There's two bedrooms downstairs, tons of room for games and movies and everything else. In Arizona, it does stay nice and cool. I love that we have the taller ceilings in here. You could definitely breathe some new life into this thing by adding some paint and some color and some of my Katie's pop to it. I know Melissa also has good taste. So that's pretty cool. It's a glass staircase. Not sure if I would keep that or not or just add a handrail in there for safety. But we're gonna go over here next. It's just trying to highlight how much room we have in there. Two separate bedrooms. This is also why I thought it was an Airbnb. They have an owner's closet, either that or they are housing Harry Potter himself. So I'm not sure exactly what we have there, but I like that feature. So very cool. Another furnace, big bedrooms down here, plenty room to keep a king size bed. I would definitely add some can lights down here. That will make this much brighter, especially because we're downstairs and we're not gonna get a ton of sunlight. So same size room, just on the opposite side here. Easily could fit a king size bed in this room and maybe even another trundle or a set of bunk beds so you can sleep multiple families. As we know, higher the occupancy, higher the rental rate. So this is another bathroom down here, full bath. Definitely room where you could move right into this and you can make this into a rental. But the other all, uh, aspect of it, you could always update it slowly over time as you start to produce income with the property. So now we're gonna go back upstairs. I'm gonna show you guys the upstairs of the home and then we will conclude from there. I'll get some uh, video uploaded too of the front of the house. That's also smart lock already, which is nice. Beautiful sunset going on. So now we go upstairs, master bedroom. Very cool. Love the amount of space in here. You could definitely put a full family in just here because you have all of that room over there. 
and access right there. I think at one point, this may have even been a separate bedroom or an option to frame that out for its own bedroom too, which is kind of nice. So, all right, very cool. Got its own bath, his and her sinks, and a large closet. The uh, captain's seat in here, so master bedroom could definitely upgrade this over time but you could easily rock and roll right into renting this as is nice views of your pool they do have sunscreens on here right now but we are going to go to the other two guest rooms on the opposite side ample storage this leads to the master as well so you have two different entrances that's why I was saying you could even take that into another room. This is the third bathroom, full bathroom right here. So I thought this was pretty neat, nothing fancy, but definitely room to upgrade over time, get your equity out of it, but it's rentable right away. So here is the fourth bedroom of the home, overlooking some mountain views out there. You could probably fit a queen size bed in each one of these. I wouldn't rock with the king just because there is limited space, but queen size bed perfectly right there with some nightstands. And same thing for this room too as well. Queen size bed. You do have this little bench to overlook the mountains out there. Give you a little glimpse of those off in the distance. So this area is beautiful. I do love it. I think this would make a great home for Airbnb. I do think there is some wiggle room in the price and we could be aggressive on this one. So lots of room for potential here. Hope you guys enjoy this home tour as much as I did.